by just showing you what actually the, the autoplay tape and what the steam clocks will look like before and afterwards. So I put a little sample on here of um, the autoplay tape before it goes through the autoplay, and it just really looks like a piece of masking tape. And as you saw on the video that we just watched, they don't even use very much in her clinic. They actually look like they use masking tape as well because they're trying to say this is probably costly. It doesn't matter um, as long as somewhere on your package you put a piece of this. So that as soon as you open that autoclave, you should see these diagonal lines on here. And what does that mean? It's in sterilized. I'm glad you're saying that because don't get fooled. That does not mean it's totally sterilized. It means one thing. And that it hit the right temperature? It hit the right temperature. For it to be truly sterilized, we need to know it hit the right temperature for the right amount of time, which is what our steam clocks tell us. Okay? So here's an example of one of the steam clocks before we put it in. Um, I also do have an example of the new steam clocks that we have. So you can have a look at both, because you will likely be tested with one of these, and this just splits in half. Okay? So as you can see, in either instance, I've either got a steam clock that is just a partial purple pattern, uh, I call it a partial flower, or I've got just a strip like this. On this one, once it's run through the autoclave, what I want to see is that those petals on the flower or the whole flower itself has turned green. And what does that tell me? Does that tell me that this has been sterilized? Yes. It, <laughs> Yay, Jim! We're going to pass that on the test. Right, so what does total sterilization mean? It hits the right temperature for the same right amount. Of, right temperature for the right amount of time. And just for the sake of studying, what is that? What's the temperature that it should meet? 120. What? <laughs> 121 Celsius for how long? 9 to 15 minutes. 9 to 15 minutes. Okay, good. Okay. So let's first talk about folding a surgical gown. So when I'm folding a surgical gown, um, how I like to teach students is you want to almost hold it up like you were putting the gown on yourself. This can look very similar if it's inside out, all right? So if I turn this around and I took those sleeves out, it, it actually looks similar because I do have a panel that's reinforced across here, okay? Now, I mean, if you look up, you know, there's no tags or anything on here that indicates the inside. So what I would suggest you do is make sure you've got it the right way up, and you know that because these ties should be on the outside. This is how we tie it onto the surgeon once they're ready to gown up, okay? So almost what I suggest to you, put it up like you're gowning yourself. Make sure you see those ties. Now I'm going to turn around because I want you to see what I'm doing. My hands are up in the sleeves, okay? So I'm going to grab at about the length of a t-shirt sleeve and I'm going to turn that inside out. Because actually when I fold this gown, I'm folding it inside out. Why? For those of you that have been with me and learned this already. So that you don't have to slip it on? Right. I want really one motion for the vet to be able to put this on. Remember we talked about even everything we do, we're trying to minimize handling. So in one motion, the vet should be able to put this on, okay? So once you've got this started, it's also another little tip and important for you when you lay this down on the table to fold it for the rest of the way, make sure that those ties are up, okay? So I want to lay it down like this and be able to see my ties versus lay it down like this and not see them, okay? If you go this route, definitely you're not going to get this wrapped properly, okay? So let's lay this down on the table. And now we're just going to get all our seams in order. Here's my little t-shirt length sleeves here. The rest of that sleeve is actually inside of there. As best as you can, anything that's straying out, these little tabs here, these little ties I mean, tuck them in. Okay, and this next is the other place that I see is easy for students to sort of start going down the wrong path. Uh, because we tend to want to fold it over like that in half. At this point in time, we're going to do a pinch, okay? So I'm going to pinch here in the center of the gown and here in the center of the gown, and I'm going to fold it in half that way. Then I'm going to do one more fold this way. Okay, I'm going to tuck that in. Okay, so that's an accordion fold this way. Now we're going to accordion fold this way. 
I've shown two different methods. I'm going to show this class the one that I find most students sort of understand. Because ultimately what I want is I want these sleeves sitting on the top. Okay? So I could start according and folding this way, but there's no guarantee that these are going to be up. I may end up according and folding right over top of that. So what I'm going to suggest to you, grab a hold of the sleeves and accordion and fold it this way. Because that way they are always going to stay on the top. So it doesn't have to be like neat, crisp lines like she did, right? Like you just have to fold it. We try for that because the more compact and the more tight, the better it's going to fit in the autoclave. You're just learning, so we understand. I'm not going to... But if it's sloppy, if it's sloppy enough that when we go to open that pack, it falls apart, that's not ideal. Because what happens if it falls? It's, it's no longer aseptic. Okay? Um, for the animal care program here, we also teach you to put a hand towel in here. So I've got an example of a hand towel. We have them in blue and green. They look like this, uh, about the size of a tea towel. And we're just going to do an accordion fold with these. And it's as simple as just accordion folding this way and accordion folding this way. And when you accordion fold, just maybe keep in mind, keep that thumb on top as you go. My thumb is, all, my thumb, my thumb is always on top. Nice for whoever is opening this. If you can tab that, some of our lap sheets won't do that. They're just too rigid. And that's going to sit here. That is my surgical pack ready to go.